All right, what's up, Pasqual? Welcome back. So we're gonna check out two Black Panther recaps from Casper. These were actually were recommended, by the way. And the first one, part one, is called "When Kill Mother Colonized His Own Country," and set Black Panther to the as Central Plain. So I'm excited to see this. I love Black Panther. So what for ado? Let's check this out. I know it's gonna be hilarious. So let's see what you got, Casper. It's about to go down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today I present to you one of the most egregious villains in MCU history. Yes. I mean, not only did this nigga beat the absolute shit out of T'Challa, <laughs> the nigga colonized his own country. Yeah, sure so did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold y'all up any longer. Let's get straight into it. So we right. start the scene off in London, the home of beans on toast huh? and teeth what? that are absolutely <laughs> cruised. We enter the museum and see this nigga kill my and he dressed like Omarion from the post oh, no. nigga woke up and decided to start competing with Riff Raff for worst fits of the 21st <laughs> century. You thought that she was clean, huh? <laughs> no. So this nigga is asking all these questions about these African artifacts knowing damn well he already know the answer. Bro, this know-it-all ass nigga was just plotting on his chance to flex that he a Wakandan, so he like... Really, nigga? Yes. No. What about this one? Also from Benin, 7th century, <clears throat> full of tribe, I believe. Now, pause. Here go the moment bro been absolutely fiending for. Bro and his little Uzi. Now it's my time. time. So a few moments later, bro's just like, nah. Huh? <laughs> Nigga, what do you mean? It was killed by British soldiers in Benin, but it's from Wakanda. And it's made out of vibranium. I just know to talk yes. so we're mad as fuck. Bro just out here dry snitching for no reason. Yes. So this nigga says, I'm taking this shit for reparations, <laughs> bitch. And he proceeds to lean in towards her and says, That's why your comb with her weak as hell and I Bill Cosby Jr. Damn. I mean, yeah, look damn. at this nigga. Why is he stinging her down like that? Nigga got that game six bronze stare. And then a few moments later, she just drops. So meanwhile, paramedics arrive after she got down in her reboot car. Gotta be <laughs> these niggas get to the scene and pull out two Glock 17s Shit. with silencers on them hoes. Completely squad wiping the security team. Mm. And this isn't even the worst part. This motherfucker call gonna say, Come here. Come here. Come here. And just shoot him. Okay. You can go. But just don't tell anyone, alright? That's how facts. Nigga, even. Yo, Andy Serkis was so good playing his claws, man. That was savage. And Killmonger was questioning him like, bro, why you ain't just shoot him right here? And that's when we should have known something was up because this nigga being the voice of reason is crazy. Wait, so no they way. ended up getting away with this vibranium axe. And I swear if Ultron didn't chop off bro's arm, he would have lost that shit hmm, from yep. tetanus. Now fast yep. forward and we in Wakanda and Zori says, is there anyone of royal blood? Did he know? <laughs> he wishes to challenge for the throne. Why we tell him? <laughs> and all the Wakandans like, no, 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 no. yeah. I guess T'Challa just straight up said, uh, you guys want to do something? You yeah. guys, that's, that's what, what I thought. Except in Baku, but that shit was <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> Should have just stayed in the mountains. After he gets done boxing in Baku, giving him a generational ass whooping, if I do say so myself, they arrive in South Korea to intercept Claw trying to sell that vibranium axe he stole earlier. Now the Wakandans <laughs> got the feet straight chased down the Hall of Fame. <laughs> it wasn't letting this shit slide So they enter the party And my brothers and sisters Are looking quite dapper Dr. Umar would be proud Now it's all alive And this nigga just walking Straight through security strap Having the metal detectors Going off and everything I guess security just said Oh my god Yeah oh, It's the here they knew they knew. So Claw spots Agent Raw. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Bro is an agent of the CIA. This dumb nigga Claw was cooked from the beginning. <laughs> Koya upstairs pissed on about. And bro right here is just like. <laughs> and started walking her down. So she turns around, throws her purse at bro, pulls her stash out of her GTA loadout. And <laughs> buddy. Then bro pulls out his gun, gets that shit oh! out of his hand, uppercut it, and then impaled in the foot. And then she just whacks him in the face to finish him off but she must have said i got one more in me because she threw my granny good wig at bro <laughs> showcasing that michael jordan ass <laughs> then she picked bro up with the 
staff and dumps his ass over the pool. And yep. now I can see why she's the leader of the Doro Malanche. She out here doing these Mortal Kombat ass finishes. <laughs> 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 yep. gets done sending these niggas to the ICU. All hell breaks loose. And now his niggas pulling up to box T'Challa. He throws this bozo off of him and then bro grabs him from behind. But he gets elbowed in the stomach and tossed like a Caesar salad. Another nigga decides to pull up and test T'Challa's gangster. No. So bro right here decides to touch T'Challa and that nigga says, We you start touching niggas yeah. with your hands. And then gets his ass thrown chopped, grabbed, and then throw chopped again. Like, come on, my boy, you just spamming at this point. He got T'Challa all the way fucked up. My son out here hitting the mad faces, running that shit back like Ja Wick Morant. He trying to kill this nigga. He hits his ass with a why you look like nigga? Your whole body is enhanced. Why are you hitting niggas right. like that? So T'Challa peeps this nigga claw trying to run like Donzo did versus Sasuke. Let me know if y'all want this as a next video. I got y'all. But like I said, the Wakandas are born track stars. They was built for this shit. So T'Challa turns around and does this Mario Kart ass jump. And my son fresh as hell got on the Super Sneaker 7 from Subway Surfers. So he pulls himself up and catches up to Claw. Got bro scared as hell. He slipping. <laughs> and then he ups his pitch, and for some odd reason he just drops that shit and switches to his hand he got cut off and i'm thinking to myself what's bro's plan until that shit starts splitting and he pulls out this tony stark level invention t'challa sees this and picks up this big ass wine table and gets his shit down to the ground and then claws the stick by the way, the whole one shot scene, the casino scene, the whole entire fight before this was so good. It was so freaking good. The cinematography, man. Also, RP Chara Bozeman. Standing over him, emoting, laughing like these. <laughs> Nigga shit raspy as hell. Lay off the cigarettes, buddy. So now he running away, geeked as hell, cause he blew T'Challa up to tarnation. Nigga got in a car and instantly got behind him because he shook as hell. But he got every right to do so, cause they get in a car and chase bro down instantly, almost running somebody over in the process. So now T'Challa on feet, got my son out here looking like Tyreek. And T'Challa does his backflip for absolutely no reason. You know, his Duke Dennis shit finding any reason to do a flip. Like, what is the point of this? <laughs> so Black Panther on Still the pad. Pad, literally look at bro and they cut to the next scene and Claw tweaking out and begging his security to drive faster cause he's scared as hell. But nah, they on chase down. Shit must have got serious cause she driving with her dogs out. And <laughs> she's giving her plus 10 attributes on driving. So T'Challa finally catch up to Claw and Shuri panicking cause they finna collide into all of these cars. But T'Challa says, keep going. Ooh. Love that. Mm -hmm. And Shuri like, I owe you an apology. I wasn't familiar with your game. So T'Challa jumps mm -hmm. in the car and they're doing this light skin ass shot. And <laughs> just get at. at him. So he just <laughs> lunges right at them and crawls on top of the ceiling. He rips that shit open and just stares at these niggas like a disappointed father. Mm -hmm. Bro right here looks up and decides to jump out the car because he was shook. <laughs> Nigga was not standing on business at all. <laughs> so he's rolling out the car and gets ran the fuck over. And because he decided to jump out, he cooks his homeboy in a process because that shit just crashes into a bunch of other car. I just know bro was like I'm like what is he fuck me for? <laughs> Meanwhile Okoye disappointed because they shoot at her vibranium car. She talking about she basically hmm. saying y'all broke as hell get your money up gang so she gets tired of the fuckery and hops out stepping on the car and needs 2016 light up shoes <laughs> She activates her eagle vision and then launches her spear through the back window to the front of the car, causing a head on collision. Damn. Gave they as generations worth of CTE. Got Claw shook while she's smiling deviously. That shit ain't <laughs> last long at all, cause Claw starts hanging out the car like a city girl. <laughs> city girl. Like Dominic Toretto in the first Fast and Furious. Yeah. Up, nukes them out the sky, breaking they vibranium car down like <laughs> a swisher. While this is happening, T'Challa is still being That's shot, not shot by these niggas, and he tells. Shuri to pull around this semi. Then he just disappears. Got bro wondering where he went until he pops up on a hood and says, <laughs> She nothing said. And since they should fly, no cool shot. Space. And then you just peep Ryan Coogler coaching this nigga to do this yes. nice skin ass activity. So to bro, tell catch a swear. Up to claw just for this bagless ass nigga to charge up another blast, turning that shit into straight scrap metal. Hmm. But nah, T'Challa has another idea, runs up the wall like Barry Allen, then jumps on a car and 
Damn. They ruled Tyro. Damn. Had they shit spinning like a bad football throw. <laughs> Let's <laughs> charge up this bag. Let's attack again. And Tatala just Boy, eats that shit. He rips this nigga's arm off yep. and knees his ass in the stomach. And then he just gets captured. So Nakia sees this van driving around suspiciously twice. Like these niggas ain't even tried to be inconspicuous. <laughs> so she peeps they get in back door. And she busts in the room like. Hold up. Wait, Wait a minute. A minute. Somewhere Somewhere right. right. <laughs> Meanwhile, this nigga Killmonger in the back sending up these charges ready to blow this shit to high hell. He <laughs> shines these up and pushes that button Su Young was talking about in Russia. <laughs> so this nigga walks in and starts airing out the whole building, hitting innocence and all. The nigga then decides to throw a grenade in the middle of the floor. Like this nigga really trying to kill him. But no, nah, says, fuck that and jumps on that shit. You a real nigga, man. Yep. I can't even lie. Couldn't have been me. Yeah. Pissed cause he trying to kill these niggas obviously so he busts out the room while he getting shot at and lunges at bro and he gets his ass sat down like a bad kid he unshies and sees this nigga wearing his grandfather's chain and he like oh no no this just can't be this, this can't be <laughs> so T'Challa goes back home to Wakanda and is questioning Zuri about what happened in California about 20 years ago hmm. so flashback unbeknownst to President Jobu Zuri was spying on him for King T'Chaka cause he was selling weapons and seekers to club being in America had Prince and Jobu brain fry he was trying to knock off the whole planet with the Wakandans in charge so his brother looks at him disappointed as hell and he tells bro that he gonna stand trial in front of a judge the way in Jobu was crazy out of this movie, I'm surprised he ain't go out like this nigga. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that last month. That was crazy. The guy who jumped up the judge because the judge told me he was guilty and he jumped all the way to the freaking deck. Like, get the hell out of here. Man had freaking jumps like like Mario type crap. <laughs> his pipe and tries to shoot Zuri and gets poked up like he in prison and this ain't even the worst part Prince and Jobu had a whole son and they just left his ass there Lil bro went from having hoop dreams to knocking off his own country nigga the mercenary job we <laughs> so in the flashback they arrive at this airplane scrapyard and Killmonger like on our way back just drop us off in Wakanda but you got Claw here talking about you don't want to go there boy and this nigga instantly pulls out his gun saying yeah I do. and shoots Claw Homeboy twice, sending mm. that nigga straight to the gulag. Yeah. Grabs Killmonger Shorty and is holding her at gunpoint, talking about, I'm sorry for calling you boy. But <laughs> no, Killmonger says, This ain't Mario, and you <laughs> get Princess Peach, and then just shoots her ass. Yeah. So Claw takes off and he's doing his best mojito impression, and Killmonger chasing this nigga down, <laughs> got up stumbling and falling. And then I bet he starts hiding like Gohan was versus Boo. <laughs> nah, bro, it's not good. Active camo equipped because he's going to shoot him. <laughs> So Claw starts to show him what they do to outsiders and this nigga starts flexing his KD while Claw on 1 HP. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Killmonger talk about check these out. Each one is for a kill. Like god damn, this nigga is <laughs> who made you like this? So Claw says, mate, you can scar yourself as much as you like. You will always be an outsider. So Killmonger starts to rip his set. So <laughs> this nigga bamboozled cause he's yep. Wakandan the whole time. And Claw's like, Yo mama was the shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we see Killmonger dragging this nigga body like luggage and then he just throws his ass on the ground. Hobby looked down and was mesmerized. He started dick eating like boo hoo nigga your parents got packed up. <laughs> <and> <laughs> throat. So Wakabi looks at him and at that moment he decided that he was the new king. Ugubani. So they bring Killmonger into the throne room and he get to talking crazy like I'm standing in your crib serving justice to a man who stole your vibranium and packed up his parents. Justice Kuzo couldn't deliver and T'Challa standing on business. He got up quick as hell. He gets all up in this nigga face look like he in a battle rap and says I don't care that you brought Claw. Huh? Nigga, you lucky I don't kill you where you stand cause I know you little cuss. <laughs> Now what do you want? And the way Killmonger <laughs> keep on looking at bro when he his face is wild. The Chala shit must have been kicking for real. So he like, I want the throne. And basically Killmonger following in his daddy footsteps. Except he want to be the modern day Malcolm X. So to Chala's mommy like, oh, he's got I entertained this bum ass nigga for too long. Reject his request. Why have you I requested none. Ask who I am. So he punking everybody in the room, telling them to ask him his real name. And Tatala like, wait, no, wait, take him away. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, this dumb, big, lit, bad boy, <laughs> gonna ask him his real name. 
This is right here is the cause of the rest of the <laughs> So he says, Unguban, Indigo in the Jaka. What? Unyana Jobu. I found my daddy with panther claws in his chest. You ain't the son of a king, you a son of a murderer. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey auntie. I mean, hey, who auntie. wrote this was great <laughs> cooking. God bro talking about I'm exercising my birthright. Oh my the challenge for the mentals a king and Black Panther. T'Challa accepted it and they started boxing that same day. So my son starts eating on it for absolutely no reason. And before the fight, this nigga just starts stripping, showcasing his Chipotle bag looking at his <laughs> Chipotle. T'Challa looking at his shit like <laughs> Damn, he really about to rock my shit. I love these edits, man. Begin. So Kill Wonga rushes in and he trying to end bro's run. He tries to stab T'Challa in the leg and he moves back like he got popped with some hot grass. He goes for an overhead and misses and then T'Challa swings at his leg. And here go these niggas acting like loose, spinning in the air and shit. There's no need for that, bro. You're a mercenary. He flips his stab, goes for a body shot and hits him with a spinning back kick. So T'Challa gets back up in the fight and they jump in the air doing these tag your it ass attacks. And Kill Wonga just spamming the same R2 finishers. He fiending for the throne. T'Challa hits him with a weave and then sweeps his legs, showing why he the king. Killmonger says the energy is about to shift and yeah. starts cooking, bro. Yeah, starts so slicing. After T'Challa cut bro's face, he unlocked a special grade sorcerer level dog. I mean, <laughs> look at bro, he's truly petrified. T'Challa goes in for attack, gets parried, and receives the this is part of it to the chest. <laughs> T'Challa gets up and goes for the overhead and just cutting his ah. eye and drops to his knees. And he just starts smelling blood. He starts spamming that finisher again from earlier. T'Challa goes for another overhead and gets cutted like a fish. Oh. He then goes in for a hook and gets his bicep ah. cut next. He <laughs> this is all of his moves. He free eats. He goes in for a right hook, misses, and gets impaled. And Killmonger just looking at him like I'm him. Katala drops down Damn. to his knees and Killmonger goes for the finisher and gets blocked. So he hits bro with a left hook and another bro in the depths of pain. And then he hits Katala with a mean right to finish him off and says this from it's my your king. And he winds and that shit up like he finna decapitate bro so Wait, zuri had to stop him and he says i am the reason for your father's death man shut up. <laughs> with no hesitation at all he just sends this nigga back to the lobby t'challa starts crashing out picks up his sword and swings at bro this your king t'challa gets up swings at bro he dies <laughs> talking mad shit catches his arm mid punch and punches him in the gut like goku did versus freeza <laughs> and you would have thought this man would have stopped after bullying him for five straight minutes no, he goes in, grabs his head, and knees him straight in the face. He swings and gets put on his shoulder Damn. like he finna catch an attitude adjustment. <laughs> he walks over to the ledge and throws yeah. his head yeah. off of that yeah, shit, sending him There's straight to the man. ancestral plane. Bro wipes his hands and says, nah. I'm your king. And then this mentally unstable ass nigga <laughs> becomes Mr. king. Unstable. So we cut to the next scene and we see bro standing. And what is this nigga doing? He's just standing there. Menacingly. Menacingly. And why is bro standing in front of a fire? I'll tell you why. This Hall of Fame menace made all of his subjects destroy every single last heart-shaped herb there was. Huh? So there would hmm. never be another king besides him. Damn. I mean, not only did this nigga beat the absolute shit out of T'Challa, the nigga called colonized his own country. <laughs> now, look, we all know he got packed up in the end due to Black Panther's Gojo level plot armor. Mm, plot armor. Yes, he won. Alright, it was great having you but I'm out. That's the cinema. Alright. Well, that was a great start, Casper. A great start. That was that was a really hilarious recap. Oh, man. You got my subscription, buddy. You got my subscription. So, he's got a part two of the recap. Another video that I'm going to react to right in a few minutes. So, yeah. That was absolutely hilarious, man. That was absolutely hilarious. As I remember, the first time I saw Black Panther in theaters, man, shoot, it was fully packed. You know, everybody was cheering, cheering on at the, um, throughout the whole movie, and it was such a great time. I had such a really good time watching this, so. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed my reaction to Casper's Black Panther part one of his recap, please hit that button, comment and share your thoughts. How many times you seen Black Panther um, have you seen Black Panther Wakanda forever? How many times have you seen that? So, all squad, please stay tuned because I have my last Hulk Mega reaction for today. And it's just part, like I said, it's, it's just part two of his Black Panther recap. So, see y'all in a few minutes so we can check it out. <laughs>